Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to give it a try to Archival Ink uh, that I have unboxed uh, in my previous video, which I'm gonna put the link in the description below to that unboxing. So anyways, I kept the tools in this box and I have added some uh, uh, from the dollar store that I got some tools as well and I'm gonna share those as well so in today's video I really wanted to get into the uh, application because I know in my previous video I didn't probably know how to apply it and I placed them upside down the inks and I'm just hoping that uh, they perform um, they they would perform better that was uh, my hope so anyways uh, let's get uh, started so I have chosen some books with very uh, thin paper the reason why um, like this uh, areas like I'd like to work with watercolor and that's why I have to apply watercolor ground on this otherwise the uh, paint it's gonna uh, bleed through to the other uh, page so that's the reason but I thought if I'm gonna uh, use archival ink, you know, it's gonna do a similar job. Of course, not the same effect, but at least I can cover the background quick and I can finish uh, many of my coloring books. I store my archival ink in this box of Durvant ink tents because I don't keep my Durvant in here. It's not convenient for me to use. So they perfectly fitted here, all of them. And for now, I don't have any plans to get any additional uh, pad, uh, ink pad, because I want to first um, figure it out, how to blend, how it works. And then, you know, if it works with me, then I can buy another new colors. But I think this is more than enough. Like I have enough of greens. Yeah, some greens I don't have, but I think this is enough for me to use for some plants or some greenery. Uh, there are a lot of plenty of yellows, oranges, reds, even blues. I don't have a darker blue. I just realized that I don't have a blue. Uh, you know that um, kind of a ultramarine blue. And one more thing, I butchered Wendy's last name. It's uh, Wendy Wecky. So I apologize for that. That's why I don't like reading uh, people's last names because I don't want to butcher the names. So yeah, I have the ink pads from Wendy Wecky and um, uh, Tim Holtz. The one, uh, the black ones are the Tim Holtz. Uh, so yeah. So let me choose the uh, illustration. Which illustration I want to try it on. And I'm gonna choose something that I don't need. So I guess I started already this page and uh, I was using watercolor here. It didn't bleed because it was light color, but still, I will try to color here. And I'm thinking, should I choose domed one or the flat one, I guess I'm gonna go for the dome. Okay, and the color I'm going to choose is, I don't know, uh, according to the cover, I feel like this is more closer, so I'm gonna choose these. And then, let's see how this is gonna work. So. This is uh, by Wendy Wecky, uh, Leaf Green. I kept them uh, for a few days upside down, like so, the, the full tin box. So I don't know if that helps the ink to reach the top of it, I don't know. So I'm gonna start with this corner because I'm not uh, like professional in this. I am, I'm not used to this, but let's see, I will try. So even a bit dry because I thought in my last video, I mentioned that they, they were seem to be dry to me. Um, so yeah. Um, uh, I'm going to find uh, 
uh, re-inkers anyways because they are small and I believe uh, this requires ink. They, I think this should be juicy if I'm not mistaken. So now I am applying a light hand here with the light hand because last time I think I, I was a bit rough. So now uh, I'm trying because I was in a hurry to finish the video to be honest. I didn't want the, the video to be uh, very long so I was in a hurry. So I think yeah this works perfectly. Uh, nice when it's not that juicy uh, but I, I am still going to order the, the inkers anyways just in case because I don't know for how long these uh, will last me since they are small I think I liked it because uh, I believe last time I was applying with hard hand and not uh, very lightly now I'm trying to be very light so yeah I like how it's coming out and I find it uh, a very similar colors so I'm just gonna finish this part so at least uh, half of the job will be done here I'm very very light-handed right now I think I realized my mistake last time I was applying um, hard-handed I'm sorry because I'm I keep repeating myself because I want to correct myself when I do a mistake um, and the last time I didn't like how this worked but now uh, it seems it's actually nice it's, it's not bad that it's not bad how I thought it would be. So yeah, I think um, it's nice. I like how it works yeah it's uh, really really nice i like it now i can save some time so now i'm gonna try a different coloring book uh, epic world of Tolkien, because the paper uh, very thin in this book so um, i was planning to use watercolor here and still probably i'm gonna use watercolor but still i wanted to see if the ink works here perfectly like if it's gonna blend well then i'm gonna use also inks here so i'm gonna try to do something on the last page here and I'm gonna try to use some blue because of the sky color so again I'm gonna use a domed one here mm, and I'm gonna choose a color uh, forget me not So I think I really like it and I think I can do some skies uh, with this uh, as well on this paper. Um, if I, I think if I apply another layer maybe it would be more even smooth, let me try. So this is the second layer going and I am trying to be light handed 
as much as I can. So yeah, I feel like with the second layer, it's much more smoother. Yeah, it's nice. I really like it. I don't um, regret of getting these and maybe probably I'm gonna get more of this if I can find the re-inker because I don't want to buy uh, ink pad and then I don't have um, re-inker. The next book I want to try is Story of Precious Cats and uh, the reason uh, why I want to try because the binding is not stitched and I'm really worried of water uh, color to apply here because it might uh, the book uh, might activate the glue and it might fall apart so uh, for that reason I was planning to use only pencils here but I thought why not to try to use um, ink as well so I'm gonna just try in one of these pages I think it doesn't have a test page but we have here mini versions of illustrations shown here so I'm gonna apply here and the color I'm gonna choose this time um, like maybe these two and I will try to blend this maybe and yeah I think that should be enough and also I wanted to try these blending tools that I got from Pixies so there are different ones um, I don't know how I could use them but uh, I wanted to, to give it a try uh, also I wanted to try to use these uh, to see uh, also application here also smaller one which I tried uh, also to use with the ink with other ink from the dollar store that I got and also I have these uh, lipstick applicators that I got long time ago and I don't use them that often um, so I thought why not to give it a try with these because if I'm going to color the cats themselves let's say um, maybe I would want to use these because this would be perfect for details I thought so I'm gonna try that so let me start with the uh, darker and then I'm gonna go for the lighter color so this is cactus flower and this is picked raspberry and for this I'm gonna use first um, let me try this brush and let's see how it's gonna work okay it's it's picking up the color really intense and it's really smooth looks really nice uh, I'm gonna try to blend with this one I don't know if that's the reason why they are now better performing because I was ke keeping them uh, upside down for a few days since I got them so I don't know if the ink uh, coming back to the top is this the reason why they are performing better than my first time or is it I am doing better than the first day uh, I'm gonna try another one as well I'm gonna try to use these two because um, I might color in this some cats oops okay I should be careful with this so um so i have got here wind, vintage photo potting soil watering can and for the uh, vintage photo i am going to use um one of this maybe i'll try i wish if these were a bit curved uh like that. let's see Okay. it's not soft as this brush this brush is really soft but still okay it's 
not bad. Yeah, it's still nice, I think. If I'm going to color uh, smaller details, I think I could do that in here. Uh, I'm gonna try some smaller ones. So I could compare these two, let's say. Um, so this is potting soil and I'm gonna use these small ones. Okay, and it's quite difficult to use these If I'm gonna do this, yeah, it's very intense and harsh. So yeah, these are not that much uh, useful, I think, to me, because they are a bit harsh and uh, I could use it this way, but it's not that much um, comfortable to use. Yeah, not much of, I didn't like how this is performing. Um, I'm gonna try this one. Um, this is a bit bigger than that one. So, okay, so this is a bit better. So, bigger, better. But again, it's not that comfortable to use. Okay, I think I'm gonna break it if I do that. Yeah, still, um, I can get the smooth application with this, really. Uh, this one was much better, of course. Uh, it's a bigger, but yeah, the small ones are not that much great. So I'm gonna apply uh, this lipstick applicator. And this is a watering can. It's supposed to be gray, and I'm planning to make some cats in gray color. So not that great, I'm assuming the small doesn't work that well. Again, I'm gonna apply the watering can with this small one. Yeah, and it's much better with this brush, but I still, I'm still getting some uh, pink color here mixed. So I'm, I think I'm gonna have to get separate brush. I didn't think that I would actually like this application but this is really really nice I like it and I could go over with this with the pencils if I would want to color the uh, cats here yeah uh, I'm glad that now I can color in this book with the inks as well next book I want to try is a big book uh, of horses uh, by John Green and this is by Dover Publications if I'm not mistaken yeah Dover Publications so the paper also here very thin but there are a lot of horses uh, here and I don't want to uh, spend really a lot of time coloring the skies for example and I will probably use the uh, last page this page again the same way to see how the paper will react how smooth it's gonna be so for this one I'm gonna uh, choose um, black just to see an acorn and uh, yeah, let me try thirstle maybe or sky blue I'm gonna try sky blue there is actually color called sky blue so I'm gonna try these three okay so this time I will apply the sky blue with these and then the smaller ones with the applicators so I'm gonna use these two so this is for, for acorn first let me start with the black suit then I'm gonna try to blend it with acorn
and again I'm going with the light hand and yes now I can see the difference between the dome and this one uh, definitely dome is much smoother so I was wrong in my previous video definitely the dome one much better so I'm gonna get probably more of, the, of that one or maybe this is the paper I don't know so let me apply again another layer okay and I will try to remove these Okay, so even with this applicator it's not bad I think I should get just a little of ink not too much and go uh, step by step light hand Yeah, I think I really like it. So even it's not oxide ink or um, distressed ink, it's still blendable, it's possible. Uh, not as much as those, but still for me this is satisfactory and uh, I'm glad that it's uh, waterproof. Uh, because I use a lot watercolor and uh, I'm, I'm worried if I'm gonna use oxide ink it's gonna reactivate when I'm gonna apply watercolor so that's the reason I opted for archival ink uh, I'm gonna try now um, the sky blue with the brush Yeah, this is much more softer application the brushes so I thought I wouldn't like it but I actually like it because with my dollar store ink it didn't apply well uh, this brush so that's why I was disappointed in the brush but now I guess it was the problem with the ink itself I think so yeah I think this is nice I just want to show the uh, the dollar store ink that I got from Daiso this is the one actually I wanted to show in my previous video where I unboxed this but um, I cut that out the video was becoming very long so I said maybe for the next time and uh, this is the applicators that I got in Daiso as well uh, I feel like they are very similar but not the same this is more dense so I'm gonna try to use this as well let me try the small one it says it's based on vegetable oil so yeah so yeah this is the application here still not bad manageable but not perfect as the other ones uh, what I will do is I'm gonna try to use a brush here just to show the difference how it worked so I'm gonna use the blue okay and just to show the difference how why I didn't like the brush well actually it's not bad maybe the problem was in the paper 
I see the pigment a lot. It's picking up. Yeah, this ink is still juicy, I guess. Even it's a dollar store, but still. Yeah, I think it's uh, nice. The only thing worried me in this ink, it's, it said vegetable oil. My personal opinion at the moment, as of this video, this brushes really, really works nice with the ink, whether it's archival ink or this dollar store ink. Uh, I think the blending and all this is really, really nice. And I think I'm gonna get more of this now. I'm too excited about this. So uh, that was all. I'm gonna keep on working on this and I'm gonna try to film a coloring process, how I'm using this. And hopefully uh, this video was useful and more uh, with clarity uh, given that I didn't know how to use them in my uh, first video initially where I unboxed them so yeah I am really really happy with the results and I think I'm gonna probably get more colors the only issue for me is the re-inker if I could manage to find the re-inker otherwise I'm gonna have to opt for the uh, bigger size uh, from the ranger itself. So yeah, that was all uh, Thanks for your time. Thank you for watching and uh, Hope to catch up with you in my next videos. Bye